Good afternoon and welcome to the 2015 New Haven Preservation Trust Awards. I'm Bruce Peabody, President of the New Trust Board of Directors, and I'm so pleased to have you all here with us today as the Trust gives out three separate preservation awards. Our House Preservation Award, our Merit Plaque, and our Landmark Plaque. Uh, May is National Historic Preservation Month, and so the giving of these awards is one of our ways of observing the importance of historic preservation in New Haven. A special treat with us today is having Mayor Tony Harp with us today, and I'd like to welcome her to the podium. Today. Thank you very much, Mr. Peabody, and good afternoon, everybody. It is great to be with all of you, and I want to welcome you to City Hall, and thank you for being here for today's presentation of the New Haven Preservation Trust Awards. And it's really, I feel very good to see that Andy Wolf, who works on my staff, is actually a member of your group. So it is really uh, great that uh, you are all here and well represented by city staff. I want to thank you for your interest in our city's history. Thank you for your desire to pass along the legacy we share with those who came before us. And thank you for your commitment to preserving that history and legacy for future New Haven residents. There's no question in my mind about the value of preserving important connections to our collective past. New Haven is an important city today and the hub of a vital region, in large part because it has been in the crosshairs of history. In the areas of commerce, culture, higher education, and government, New Haven residents have been breaking ground for centuries. At the same time, the work done by the New Haven Preservation Trust and its members and volunteers reminds the rest of us how important it is to preserve ground broken literally hundreds of years ago and save noteworthy and literal touchstones to our collective history. The trust reminds us that we have neither inherited this city from our predecessors, nor have we sim are we simply the caretakers for those who follow. We aren't either, we are both, with awesome responsibility to honor those who came before, and with a self-imposed mandate to pass it on to future residents. The properties to be highlighted today, along with their owners and restoration architects, provide brick and mortar evidence of the elegance that continues to permeate the city. A review of photographs that chronicle these restorations is to revisit the craftsmanship of the past and marvel at the intention to detail paid during present day restoration. Our entire city owes a debt of gratitude for the extraordinary efforts made to restore and preserve these properties. So I welcome you, I thank you, and I salute all of your efforts and contributions to so much of what has made New Haven famous. Your work provides another reason for all of us to be proud residents of New Haven and its irrefutable place in the proud history of Connecticut and the United States. Thank you very much for all you do. Thank you, Mayor Harp, as, as we honor the owners of the three art properties being honored today. The Preservation Trust was founded in 1961 and is a member-run organization supported by membership, donations, sponsors, and the state of Connecticut. The mission of the Preservation Trust is to honor and preserve New Haven's architectural heritage, historic buildings and neighborhoods, through advocacy, education, and collaboration. Our goal and our vision for ourselves is that we are to be the organization known for igniting pride in our city's architecture and turn to for leading the preservation of our city's uh, architectural heritage. This year's award winners were selected to highlight exemplary acts of leadership in historic preservation by their owners and to celebrate the determination of those who preserve New Haven's architecture and neighborhoods. The buildings honored are representative of similar undertakings all over the city 
but were specifically chosen today because of their exceptional quality. I therefore turn to Duo Dickinson of the Preservation Trust Subcommittee, which has been working on these awards for our presentation today. Duo. Thank you, Bruce. So I welcome you to the 2015 New Haven Preservation Trust Awards. And this year, the theme, the overarching ethic of it, is restoration, restoration as a window to history. Beyond style and appearance, the act of restoration celebrates the way historic structures were conceived and crafted. Today, we celebrate a home, a parish hall, and a private library. These buildings do not have a common purpose, but their restoration has a common message. History is well served in the renewal of threatened buildings in New Haven. Rather than simulating historic techniques and affects, these three buildings create anew their original craft and materials. The restoration of a building takes extreme commitment by the restorer, as does the maintaining of its purposes into a new century. To some extent, all of these efforts that you see today, all the people that we're honoring today, all these efforts are ongoing. But New Haven Preservation Trust is honored to celebrate the extraordinary results of enormous dedication by these groups of essentially, many of them, volunteers and of course homeowners. So our first award, the first award that we give every year, is the New Haven Preservation Trust House Preservation Award. Now, you can have an in-house architect or you could just have architects that own houses. And in this particular case, we have two architects that have spent the last decade working on the Maurice Spire House. And it fully embodies the mission of this award, which is to honor houses as outstanding representatives of their period. They exhibit much of their original character and condition of continued appropriate maintenance and sensitive rehabilitation. And the Moritz Spire House was designed by Brown and Van Buren in 1895, and Gina and Rob Narachi, who are here to us today, brought their extraordinary devotion to a complete restoration of its impeccable exterior. Using Connecticut Historic Homes Rehabilitation Tax Credits and personal effort, Rob personally made 40 exterior storm windows out of an inappropriate wood, which is still apparently doing quite well. <laughs> While all of this effort, the Narachis have taken a building that was a little sad and made it into a beacon of glowing promise and hope embedded in our history. The interior has much work to do, but there's a lot has already been done. I'd like to bring the Narachis up here because we want to give them the award for their home, given by John Herzan. <laughs> and we can have just a few words of your thoughts on your incredible home. Good to see you. Thank you, Dude. Thank you very much for this award. This is the 120th anniversary of the Moritz Spire House, and it means a lot to us to have others recognize uh, how much hard work went into it. I'd like to thank my parents who are here today for their support and inspiration. They taught me how to embrace restoration with uh, a kind of handful of decent tools and some elbow grease. I really appreciate that. Uh, and a sense of humor. <laughs> Gina and I would like to thank Mary Dunn at the State Historic Preservation Office because she, she guided us through the process of using the Historic Preservation Tax Credits. And uh, we'd also like to thank uh, Representative Pat Dillon and Mayor Harp because during their tenure together in Hartford, they recognized how important this tax credit was to, uh, as a preservation tool and as an economic stimulus. We can confirm uh, with great personal vigor that we didn't just pocket the money we took from this. We, we upped the ante and we used everything we had to increase the quality of the preservation effort. It was clearly a driver that we were able to take that money and put it back into the local economy. Um, and thanks need to be given to those local contractors because they worked very hard, long hours, and they have 
today craftsmanship skills that are not lost, and they're out there, and they can do great work. And uh, of course, thanks to the New Haven Preservation Trust because they do honor and help preserve New Haven's fine architectural heritage. Thank you. Thank you. Our second award is the 2015 Merit Plaque, which is dedicated for historic buildings that have been authentically restored or sensitively rehabilitated for adaptive use. The Center Church Parish Hall was originally uh, designed by Sidney Mason Stone in 1852. This building was rededicated as Center Church's Parish Hall in 1912. At the time of its first repurposing, Pratt Hall was added to the end of it, designed by Leone Robinson in uh, 1912, and it duplicated the church's meeting house interior. A century of well-intentioned fixes lost much of the home's character, and a full exterior restoration was started in 2013 that, that brought both the Parish Hall and Pratt Hall fully back to a restored state involving energy efficiency, handicapped accessibility, functional updating, but also, and also most, most amazing to everyone who passes by that building, the absolutely exceptional restoration of the, of the building's exterior, which venerates completely the restored, vibrant character of its original design. Today, I'd like to bring up Sean Garris, if he's here, or Shelly Cruz. Oh, it, it's, uh, so here you are, they're great to see you. Come, come on up, and John Herzan will give you your award. Good afternoon. I would like to uh, thank everyone for attendance and for the preservation for this award. Um, this award is the blood and sweat and hard work of our congregation and we've been blessed um, by God and with the means to do this upgrade. And as mentioned, it's, it's our hope that uh, since it's more accessible, it will be continue to be utilized by the community such as desks which we currently support and their food pantry program, food program, and uh, other uh, various uh, community-based organizations that utilize our facility to do various activities. Again, thank you. Thank you. Our last award, and in a way, in a way, the, the award of the largest uh, intentions is the New Haven Preservation Trust 2015 landmark plaque, which is intended to honor buildings or sites of outstanding and enduring architectural and historic significance. The Institute Library was designed by Rufus G. Russell Architect in 1878. Its restoration has been at the hands of thousands of hours of hundreds of volunteers and did involve an ar architect, Joe Banks, as a consultant, and, and he was a guiding hand in this, but it really was the, a labor of love by hundreds of people. This is a unique building type, a private library, in a time when all libraries are reinventing themselves in a sea of new technologies, including each of us, each of us having our own private library in our hands. The reality, though, is this restoration did not only save a building, it also venerated a use which is threatened. The library's board, led by Will Baker and now Natalie Elliker, have engaged in a restoration not only of its physical contents, but of its purpose, which has been refreshed, renewed, and restored. Skylights, once sealed, are now operational. Windows have been made to work and the ineffable presence of history in a quiet place has been loved back into a burnished state of renewal. A thousand details from brass pressure gauges to a full renovation of the building's third floor have meant that a threatened resource has found new life, but also the restoration of a place of living history where the provenance of a different time is not lost but embraced. I'd like to bring up Greg Peppy to accept the award.
Thank you all. This is really um, sort of a validation of, of the efforts of so many people. Um, my name is Greg Pepe, and I really stand here as a proxy for, uh, as Duo said, literally hundreds of people who've donated their time, uh, their expertise, their materials, their thoughts, um, and their sense of history uh, at the Institute Library. And I, I'm really, truly honored to accept this award on behalf of all of them. I, but I'd like to call out especially our building committee has been chaired by Joe Banks, who is a, a library board member and an architect who has really taken this on as a, a cause and a celebration. And Joe, thank you so much for your work. And um, as many of you know, our, our previous executive director, Will, Will Baker, really, I think, saw the potential in that and uh, seduced Joe into getting involved with uh, with uh, Natalie Elliker, uh, Daisy uh, Abreu, and Andrew Drabkin, and Marianne Ott on our, uh, on our committee. So, and many of them are here today, so thank you very much also for all of you. Um, as the award states, the library is more than a building. Uh, it's also a cultural center, which in the past has welcomed the likes of Frederick Douglass, for instance, who, who came to the library to discuss the nation's work on reconstruction following the Civil War. More recently, the library's created programs to promote um, poetry um, in our New Haven schools with our New Haven high school students, um, and to bring a parade of idiosyncratic personalities to New Haven through Jack Hitt and Josh Flower's Amateur Hour. Um, this kind of cultural institution, uh, when you approach it the, uh, from a preservation perspective, requires a lot of um, uh, sensitivity to its history, um, and we. We like to believe that uh, in addition to preserving the, uh, the building itself, we're also trying to preserve the, uh, um, the institution. We're grateful for the support we receive from the city of New Haven, Mayor Hart, thank you very much, um, and also from the Preservation Trust. It's really a wonderful opportunity to uh, thank everybody who has sort of looked over our shoulder and in an age when we all too often uh, communicate badly through electronic media, the library reminds us of the value of face-to-face -face engagement and exchange of ideas. We hope to see you all there in the future to expand the library's access to the wonderful culture, diversity, and breadth of ideas that our community has to offer. And uh, again, thank you very much. We'll display this. As Greg has said, and as Duo said, there are many people here today who have taken part in the three buildings that we're, we are uh, awarding to today. Please make sure you, you stay after the remarks. Come up, if this is your building and your pride and joy, please come up and stand uh, by the plaque because I know that the other people here today are going to be interested in talking to you, taking a look at the pictures that we have, and sharing with you uh, not only your enthusiasm for the building, but also our pleasure in having you here today. Um, I do have to say some special thanks today. We, have, uh, we do have a Preservation Trust subcommittee and staff who's been working on these awards. Uh, Duo, Chris Wiegren, uh, Megan Lynch, Channing Harris, Karen Crouchmout, John Herzan, Anita Buckmaster, and Jean Pogwitz. Without their help and without their support, we would not be here today sharing uh, the good news of preservation with you. So if I can just have a, a small clap for And of course, we thank you for helping us celebrate these extraordinary preserved buildings and the owners who have taken the steps to care for them in the most wonderful way for us all to share. In a time of tight finances, you may or may not know that 40% of the trust's funding comes from the state and is obviously under threat of termination. Sharing our history and our neighborhoods are two of the reasons for valuing historic preservation. We're not just saving one property uh, in isolation, not focusing just on one building, one street, or one institution. The Preservation Trust is here to remind everyone that, that as Mayor Harp said, it's New Haven's uh, entire built environment which allows our neighborhoods to be places where we can work, live, and play together. This wonderful tapestry of houses, church, churches, stores, parks, factory buildings, and educational buildings all come together to make New Haven our home. Thank you for joining us today, and thank you again to the award. Winner.